Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about what I'm taking to the hospital for me and baby girl. So I had not planned to film this video for at least another week or two. However, today is Sunday when I'm filming this and I had a checkup on Thursday, this past Thursday, and I am currently 36 weeks and five days. Um, but I was already two centimeters dilated at my appointment and 80% effaced and I lost my mucus plug day before yesterday. So I really don't think it's going to be too much longer. So I decided that if I'm going to film this, I better go ahead and do it. Um, because I may not get to. So it could literally be any moment that I go into labor. I've already started having contractions on and off. They're nothing consistent. Um, they do come and go. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and film this so that I could get everything in the car just in case I go into labor anytime soon. That part is done. I'm going to show you what is in my bag, her bag, and then a couple extra things that I'm taking as well. I'll go ahead and talk about those first. So the first thing that I'm going to take to the hospital is my breast pump. So I know that the hospital will provide you with a breast pump should you need it. However, I just feel better about taking my own. For most women, their breast milk comes in around day two or day three. However, I'm one of those that it comes in very fast. And when it comes in, it comes in a lot <laughs> and it's more than what my baby is drinking so I take a breast pump to the hospital always now um, so that I have the option to pump if I need to and I'm not sitting there engorged and in pain because my baby's not drinking enough milk to keep me emptied out so I'm gonna be taking my breast pump so this breast pump is the Medela pumping style and I'm gonna have links to everything that I talk about down below so if you guys are interested you can just look in my description box and find everything there but this is the machine itself right there and I used this the whole time I breastfed my second son and it was the most greatest breast pump ever I loved it so I'm gonna be using it again and then on the middle part which is where you just kind of store everything that you need. I'm taking my shields, um, some of the bottles that it comes with, and also some breast milk storage bags. I'm probably not going to be able to store the milk. There's nowhere to store it. I just don't want to be sitting there engorged and hurting and in pain. Anyways, enough rambling about that. I'm taking my breast pump. Also, to make the nursing sessions a lot easier, I'm going to take my bobby pillow. It just makes nursing so much easier, especially in the middle of the night when you are just absolutely exhausted and you feel like you're just going to pass out at any second. Um, it just helps you to be able to rest your arm on this pillow. Your baby's resting right there and everybody's good. So, um, like I said, it just makes things a lot easier. So I always take my boppy to the um, hospital. And some of you were asking if I do plan to exclusively bre breastfeed. And the answer to that is yes, I do plan to give her breast milk only. I've had great experience with breastfeeding in the past and so I don't expect it to be any different this time. I expect to have a pretty good supply and so I'm going to be exclusively breastfeeding. I will go ahead and show you guys what I'm taking for her and then I'll show you what I'm taking for me. So this bag is the Land brand which is also Helova. So this one is just like a pink peachy color and it has gold zippers is the backpack style so you've got the option to carry it on your back if you want to um, but I will kind of show you guys the layout of the bag and then I'll show you what I have in there so the front you have a pocket for bottles and it is insulated to keep your bottles warm or cold and then you also have a knit pocket here then on both sides of your bag is some additional pockets one looks like it's made for wipes and in this pocket i'll go ahead and show you guys what i have in here um back whenever i did my oh baby 
unboxing they had sent like three or four of these little plates one says like my first thanksgiving my first christmas etc um, but they had this one in there that said hello world and so i'm going to take it to the hospital with me so that i can take her pictures with it so i just have that down in the side on the very back is some additional zippers this one goes to the inside of the main compartment which is kind of cool because if you are needing to get something off the bottom and it's in the back you can just unzip this zipper reach in there grab what you need and just makes it a little bit easier and then right here is just a pocket um, I guess you could put like burp cloths or bibs or whatever you want it to in there I'm gonna go ahead and show you what is in the main compartment so what I'm taking for her I'm gonna take this little pacifier and it is attached to this pink giraffe with my other two we were terrible about keeping up with pacifiers so i'm hoping with this it'll be a lot easier <laughs> to keep up with her pacifier that way so i'm taking that i have a pair of mittens so she doesn't scratch her face and then also i'm taking a couple pairs of socks i am taking a pretty good bit of clothes for her but reason being is because when you're in the hospital the only thing they really provide for you is the little t-shirts and the diapers and i think socks maybe maybe not i can't remember and the hat but our weather in georgia has been crazy you never know if it's going to be hot or cold so just in case it's cold i packed a few warm things for her um, i'm gonna take a couple of these sleepers this one is so cute to me it's just a light pink and it's got a little bear on the front it's just a very sweet looking and so it's got the footies to keep her feet warm taking that and then i'm also taking this one which is another warm cozy soft sleeper also has the footies but I'm going to take that. And then I have some of these little preemie onesies. And the reason I'm taking them to the hospital is because if she wears these, it's going to be maybe for a week, if that. So I definitely want her to get some use out of them while she can. Um, so I'm taking four of those. Also taking just a few uh, little hats. And right here, just because she's my first girl and I'm a little bit excited, um, I'm taking a few bows so that I can snap some pictures of her with her little bows. There's a pink one, a gray one, and like this off-white cream one. Also, I'm going to take some of these like muslin burp cloths. I have just a couple of those. And then this right here is a swaddle that like kind of wraps around your baby and you Velcro it into place. So basically, it's a pocket. Like the baby's feet kind of goes down into there and it will wrap around them i will leave this link down below so that you guys can purchase it if you like but basically it just is a little swaddle wrap that stays in place i know if we have visitors and she's being passed around um the blankets that the hospital gives you to swaddle them in don't really stay in place so this will stay in place i'm also going to take my breastfeeding cover this one is also made to be a car seat cover so if we have visitors in and out and i'm nursing her i can just cover up with this and i'm also going to take because like i said we don't know if it's going to be hot or cold or whatever but i am going to take this thicker like minky blanket so i can use it to wrap her up in while we're in the hospital or um, whenever we leave to go home if it's cold outside i can tuck this around her and keep her warm and then i also have just a case of wipes i don't plan to use these in the hospital i also have just a few diapers in there as well in these two pockets like i said i don't plan to use the diapers or the wipes in the hospital as the hospital provides that um, but i just have these in there already for future i also am taking just some extra pacifiers like I said, we have the one with the giraffe attached to it that we'll be using primarily, but I do have some extras in here. Um, she also has this Dr. Brown's finger brush to like brush their tongue and their gums. The hospital normally provides this, but this is some travel um, baby wash and some lotion. This is the Johnson's Cotton Touch 
ultra light and gentle so i'm just taking a couple of those should we need those and then also um i'll go ahead and just kind of show you what the inside of the bag looks like since most of it's cleaned out this is what the main compartment of this bag looks like there's pockets on both sides they have a zipper right here for extra storage and then a couple of extra pockets right there and this back zipper i am going to take the nose frida um those first few days after the baby's born they're still trying to get rid of a lot of the fluids and things um, out of their nose and their throat and so i'm gonna take this should i need it for her nose frida also came with this saline spray so i'm gonna take that it's just a little spray that you can spray with the baby's nose and it just kind of helps to loosen everything and help it to come out and then I've also taken some gripe water, and it is safe for newborns. This is the brand Little Remedies. And so I'm going to take that just in case um, we're having some tummy issues. That is pretty much it for her bag. I'm going to go ahead and show you what is in my bag. So my bag is this big, giant, <laughs> open concept bag, which is not what I prefer. I actually prefer something that I can close off. And organize things a little bit better um, but I didn't want to purchase a special bag just for the hospital knowing that it's gonna be the only time that I use it and probably never use it ever again so I'm just using what I have and so it's just this open concept bag it's kind of like a beach style bag um, but to pack this bag I used a Pinterest checklist and I just kind of tweaked it to what I thought was necessary what I didn't think was necessary and I also threw in extra few things as well that maybe wasn't on the checklist that I would like to have I will leave a link in my description box to the checklist that I used. The first thing that I'm going to share with you guys are these little goodie bags that I'm going to take for the boys. These are going to be the gifts from the baby to them. And I actually got this idea from one of you guys over on Instagram and I thought it was the sweetest thing ever. Basically I just went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased just a few things for them. In each of their bags they got a toy each um, for Kane. He likes cars. And for Ty, I found this Say It Again game. It's kind of like that game that, I can't remember what it's called, but you put the mouthpiece in your mouth and you have to say the phrase that they tell you to say. It's kind of like that. And so I figured he would really like that. And then they each got some Play-Doh, some Skittles. And then this right here is really funny. I thought they would think this was hilarious. It's marshmallows, but it's called unicorn poop. <laughs> So I got them each that total only spent $10 for both of their bags. Okay, and now for the rest of the things that I'm taking. So first thing, I'm going to take a trash bag for dirty laundry so that everything will be in one place. And when I get home, I can just take this bag, empty it into the washer, and there you have it. So um, I'm also going to take a pair of flip-flops for the shower. Hospital showers are gross <laughs> to me anyways so i'm gonna take a pair of flip-flops to wear in there and then i'm also gonna take a pair of bedroom slippers these are the kind that hug to your feet all the way around so they don't slip off and this is the brand isotoner and they're very very soft and comfy i did find these on amazon i'll have them linked down below but they are so comfy so that's just what i'm gonna be wearing while I'm in there. Speaking of what I'm going to wear while I'm in there, I don't plan to really take a whole lot of things. I'm just going to take my robe and some nursing tanks and that's going to be what I wear while I'm in the hospital. I just want to be comfortable. I don't want anything like constricting or anything like that. So I'm just going to take my black robe that looks like this basically it's just a solid black robe, nothing fancy. I'm also going to take some of these postpartum underwear they have the thick sides and so they can come up over your belly and just kind of hold everything in i did find these on amazon like i said link will be down below uh, i have a pair of gray ones and a pair of black ones and i also like that they have space for um, the pads because you know you have to wear those giant huge <laughs> pads for a little while after you have your baby and then for my going home outfit, I am just taking a pair of black leggings. 
And then I'm also taking a nursing tank to wear. I did get these off Amazon and they came in a pack of four. They had this green one, a black one, a gray one, and a white one, I think. Um, so I'm going to be taking this to wear home and then I have a couple of extras to wear in here while I'm in the hospital. I do recommend that if you do get these to get a size up, they felt just a little bit snug on me, which I know I'm like nine months pregnant right now, but it also felt kind of snug in the boob area as well. But that's what I'm going to be wearing home is just a pair of leggings, a nursing tank, and then I'm going to take this basically a cardigan just to wear over my nursing tank. Also in my bag, I'm gonna take just a few snacks for late night nursing sessions and can't get to the vending machine. Plus you don't have to waste the money on vending machines. Um, so I have these apple cinnamon yogurt crisp, which I found at Walmart. And then also some little peanut butter crackers. Also I'm gonna take a couple bottles of water. I know the hospital pretty much provides water in your cup, but just in case, I'm going to take a couple of bottles of those. I'm also taking a few packs of these crystal light um, things to put in your water. This is the wild strawberry flavor. So that's pretty much it for the snacks, but I'm also taking a couple of these hair ties to have and also an extra razor. Um, I don't really plan to be shaving in the hospital, but you never know. And also my chapstick. I'm also going to be taking some nursing pads so that if I do have any leaking going on, I can pop these into my nursing tanks and not have to worry about leaking through my shirt. And then also I'm taking just a few extra pads. I know the hospital pretty much provides that, but just in case I need some extra, I have them. These are my other nursing tanks, just like the green one I was showing you. This is the gray one. And they are the race racerback, I think is how you say that, um, tanks. So there's a gray one. And then I also have a black one. Also in my bag, I'm going to be taking a brush. This is a wet dry brush. And because I'm not taking shampoo or conditioner, I feel like it's just a waste of space in my bag. And plus I only wash my hair like maybe once, twice a week, if that. So what I've been doing is just keeping my hair clean just in case I do go into labor anytime soon. I've been washing my hair at least every other day so that if I go into labor, I know that I can get away with using dry shampoo for at least two days. So I'm just gonna take a can of dry shampoo and that'll be all that I use for my hair while I'm in there. And then I'm also gonna take a bottle of this body wash. This is just Suave. It's in the scent Sweet Pea and Violet. So I thought this would be a pretty neat thing to take. I found this at Bath and Body Works actually last year, and I've not really had to use it a whole lot, mainly for people who are active, but just in case I can't take a shower, or you never know, uh, I can, put some of this on and it's just like a foam cleanser and it's called shower in a bottle no rinse body cleansing foam on the go so i'm gonna take that just in case also gonna take some deodorant and also some makeup wipes this is just the target brand i don't plan to be wearing makeup in the hospital but if i go into the hospital with makeup on i would like to be able to take it off so i'm gonna be taking these wipes also for breastfeeding, I'm going to take this Earth Mama nipple butter um, those first few days and right on into the first two weeks. My nipples always get really cracked and dry and they bleed and it is just not a good time. It hurts so bad. So having some nipple butter really helps a lot. So I'm going to be taking that to the hospital as well. And also just in case I have to have stitches. I am going to take some extra witch hazel and some cotton rounds. Um, with my first one, I had to have stitches, but with my second one, I did not. I don't know how it's going to go with her, but just in case I end up with stitches, I'm going to take that witch hazel just in case because that stuff is a lifesaver. Also, I wanted to show you guys this list that I made for things that I can't necessarily pack right now. So it's just a list of things that I'll need to grab on my way out the door. So first up, my phone and my charger, a toothbrush and toothpaste, my camera, some batteries and an extra SD card, my glasses and contacts, contact solution, and also 
my black flats so this will be something that I just keep on the counter and whenever it's go time I just have to look at this list and know exactly what I need to grab so yeah that is pretty much what I'm taking to the hospital let me know in the comments below what I'm forgetting if I'm forgetting anything um, also what were your essentials that were must-haves for you when you had your baby let me know in the comments down below I would love to hear thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye